Well, now they live in college football, and if a guy's my age, say in the middle 50s, up to about 63, 64, the LSU-Alabama game is always the game. Now, for our dads and grandpas, it was always LSU and Ole Miss, when Johnny Reb was prowling the sidelines. If you're in your 30s, early 40s, maybe 20s, it's the LSU-Auburn game. So I'm asking for one big favor. All of you people at the LSU beat number three Ole Miss, who stormed the field, please don't do it this Saturday if the Tigers beat Alabama. Can we pretend that LSU's played for three national championships over the last 11 seasons? How do you storm a field when you beat number three Ole Miss? Who storms a field when it's the 59th time in the history of the program LSU's beaten Ole Miss? I know what the younger people listening to this rant are saying. You're an old scrimmagin. Go put yellow tennis balls on the back legs of your walker. Let your wife change your catheter. You weren't young once. People, let me tell you, in 82 when the fall came in and a big underdog LSU team was taking on Bobby Bones, Florida State Seminoles in Tiger Stadium. And the Tiger student section started pelting the field with oranges because LSU was going to go to the Orange Bowl and it was a close one in Nebraska and Miami. I was with my wife now, but a girlfriend then. If I would have stormed the field, she wouldn't have returned my phone call. There was no tweeting back then. There was no emailing back Back then, there was no Instagram back then. I was young too, but when I was young, it's a little self respect. Didn't act like a goofball by storm in the field. Tiger fans, don't embarrass yourself and the university by storm in the field on Saturday night if LSU beats number four in Alabama. The program is above that, okay?